Now in this video we are going to learn a geometrical construction division of a line segment in the given ratio. See it is an important exam point of view for two marks. See the construction exercise 8.1 ninth problem the division of a line segment in the given ratio. See the question draw a line segment of length 7.2 centimeters and divide it in the ratio 5 is to 3 measure the two parts so first we have to draw a line segment 7.2 centimeter then we have to divide it in the ratio 5 is to 3 see first to draw a line segment a b of length 7.2 centimeters first to draw a line segment of length a b of length 7.2 and denote it with a b next the second step draw a ray which makes an acute angle with line segment a b see listen once again draw a ray which makes an acute angle with the line segment a b no need to measure the angle but remember it must be an acute angle acute angle means in between 0 to 90 not more than 90 so we can draw like this no need to measure the angle but it must be an acute angle so draw like this a ray a x which makes an acute angle with a b denote with a x ray a x now we have to divide the ray a x into 8 equal parts why 8 equal parts means see the ratio ratio is given 5 is to 3 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 equal to 8 so we have to divide the ray a x into 8 equal parts by using see the compacts take the compacts now need to measure the length with the center a draw an arc and with the same length draw the successive arcs like this this is second arc now third arc put the center here next the next this is fourth arc fifth sixth seventh and eighth so like this draw eight arcs and denote the arcs with the letters first one a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 and the last one is a8 the equal means a a1 equal to a1 a2 equal to a2 a3 equal like the last one a7 equal to a8 so all these are the equal in length now next join the point a8 with b join a8 with the letter b here the point now draw these join these two points by using scale so draw join these two points now next we have to draw a line parallel to we have to draw a line parallel to a a to b from a 5 why a 5 here the first ratio is the first letter first number is 5 we have to divide in the 5 is to 3 so take 5 so from a 5 we have to draw a line which is parallel to a a to b so how to draw a parallel line see we have a method to draw a parallel line see with the center a a to draw an arc see once again with the center a a to draw an arc no need to measure the length of the arc here also so just to draw a ray like this and using the same length draw an arc with the center a phi draw an arc the same length of the arc draw an uh, one more arc from center a phi because we have to draw a line from a phi so with the center a phi draw an arc now next see once again measure the length of the arc which is drawn from a 8 so measure the length of this arc which is drawn from a 8 so this is the length of the arc here this is the length of the arc which is drawn from a 8 now put the center here and cut the previous arc which is drawn from a 5 cut the previous arc which is drawn from a 5 so like this cut this arc the previous arc and locate the point of intersection of these two arcs now this is the point of intersection of these two arcs now next draw a ray sorry draw a line from a5 
which is parallel to a i to b see here a phi the point and this is the point so draw a line draw a line and this line must be parallel to this line must be parallel to a i to b see this is a line which is parallel to a i to b so both these lines are parallel now this is a parallel lines the construction of parallel lines here now see next the ratio is divided measure the two point two parts see here the this line intersect ab denote this point with c denote the point with c and from the basic proportionality theorem if a line is drawn parallel to the one side of a triangle which intersect the other two sides of a triangle at two distinct points then these two sides are divided in the same ratio so by by using the basic proportionality theorem if you observe the line a a 8 the line segment a a 8 is divided in the ratio 5 is to 3 because see a to a 5 5 units a 5 to a 8 3 units so this is divided in the ratio 5 is to 3 then ac to cb the ratio a the ab the line here we are dividing the point at c then this is also divided in the ratio same 5 is to 3 this is from basic proportionality theorem we conclude it is also divided in the ratio 5 is to 3 means a a5 by a5 to a8 equal to ac by cb in basic proportionality theorem we have the triangle ABC and this is the line DE the ratio is AD by DB equal to AE by EC AD by DB equal to AE by EC in the same way here also A to A5 next A5 to A8 equal to A to C next C to B so these two ratios are equal so AC east AC east BC or CB AC is to CB is also divided in the ratio 5 is to 3, 5 is to 3 and measure the two parts, measure the two parts, see the measure the two parts means the length A to C if you measure it must be 4.5 centimeters and if you measure the length from B to C it must be of the length 7.2 centimeters. So it is divided in the 5 is to 3. If you measure the measurements of the lengths from A to C, it is 4.5 cm and if you measure the length of BC, it is 2.7 cm. So this is a construction of a line segment with a given ratio 5 is to 3.